founder, co-founder of the PTC Academy, which is one of our uh, newer programs, been in business about four years now. Uh, Sean's going to talk about your next generation future, the challenges you're going to face, and probably talk about how that relates to PTC Academy, if I had to guess. Sean. Hi, all. Um, it's pretty, pretty loud in here, but we'll see how we go. Um, to, to put some context behind this, this, this session's really a, a bit of a preview of the sort of work we do at the Academy. This isn't actually a presentation, I'm turning it into a presentation, but it's actually a typical example of a workshop we run with a lot of young and up and coming executives. So we normally get executives from around the industry, whether they be um, telco or data centre or, or, or hyperscalers, they come in, donate their time and we usually have around 20 to 25 students and it becomes highly interactive. So we normally break them into groups and, and run some exercises. And the sort of things we, we talk about with these young up and coming executives are challenges. And, and it's always done in the context of, of, a, of an executive who's facilitating a session having faced these challenges themselves and describing how they've overcome them and the thought process behind that to give, to give the participants of the academy a bit of an insight to how executives think. So that's, that's pretty much the context of this presentation and very much the, uh, the activity that's undertaken at, um, at, the, at the PDC Academy. So if we just have a, have a bit of a look at this one. Can't, I'd rather, rather walk around, but still. So if we have a, have a look at this one, the challenges that most, most uh, telcos are facing, and, and indeed beyond, beyond the telco space, uh, a lot of the uh, just ISPs and mobile operators are facing, come in four, 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 four types. Typically they're financial threats, a lot of volatility in the market now if we look at what's happening with, with Chapter 11s of late, and also if you have a look at the massive amount of M&A activity that we're seeing in the market right now. I, I can't remember the stat, Gary, but I think there's something like 500 telcos now, and that's going to be consolidated down to around 200 by 2025. So a lot of the companies that a lot of people here work for won't exist in their current form in the next three, three to five years. We'll all be working for somebody else, but same name, different business card, just like every year at PTC. So financial threats or challenges are a big part of it. Compliance is becoming a massive issue, particularly in the submarine cable space. If we look at the issues currently centred around the trade war with, with China, for example, there's a lot of regulatory issues and, and FCC challenges which don't necessarily relate to regulatory, but more so security. So that's also a threat. And we, we've seen a few submarine cable systems over the last two years that have been planned to be built, have started getting built, and then run into some hurdles. In, in, in regulatory slash security environments, which has stalled them. And some of these systems, people have spent you know, half a billion dollars building and they can't turn the things on. So there's certainly some challenges from a regulatory and compliance perspective. There's also a lot of uh, operational threats. We see a lot of changes now in the way businesses are actually operating with, with the cloud and, and their reliance on external external suppliers creating problems and we also have strategic threats customers competitors and as I mentioned before investors so we've seen people like GTT race around and snap up a lot of assets uh, over the last two years as an example and now they're in trouble so they're looking to divest of those assets so these are the sort of challenges that we ask the students that come to the Academy to think about and we normally break them down into into smaller groups and they sit around whiteboards and they brainstorm amongst themselves and come up with what they perceive to be their own challenges in their own businesses. And quite often you find there's a, a lot of commonality between them all. So here's, here's one example. Um, this actually came from, from the students. So ineffective digital growth and diversification strategy. So if, if you're a telco today, what are you going to be in five years? Like Orange, are you going to be, become a bank? Or which path are you going to take? Continuing to be a telco, to me, doesn't seem like a very 
just a telco, like a very viable business model long term. I mean, ARPUs are decreasing, margins are decreasing, the cost of deploying kits increasing. So there's an awful amount of pressure. You couple that with um, a country like where I live, Cambodia, people have stopped rolling fibre out. It just doesn't make economic sense. Everyone's just gone straight to fixed mobile. Uh, point in case, in my own home, uh, I live in, 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 the, in the capital city. I wanted, and I moved home, I wanted a new internet connection for my house. So I called my mobile operator, not, not the largest telco or ISP in the country, but a mobile operator, and within two hours, someone jumped off the back of a motorbike, walked into my house, plugged a router in and said, there you go. And I get 10 meg up, 10 meg down, up to 10 devices wirelessly off the router for $16 a month. Why would I want fibre to my home? And 5G's coming as well. So the sort of threats and challenges we're talking about is it's... They're actually mo uh, fixed line operators in Southeast Asia now are uh, rolling out fixed mobile solutions and not fibre in certain countries. That's an interesting dynamic. So they're actually becoming wholesale customers of mobile operators. So they're even, so not only do they not, well, okay, how many people in this room called home last night? Pr pretty much all of you. How many of you went plus six five and dialed a number and hit go? Nobody. Everybody in this room's used Viber, WhatsApp, Skype, or some other form of OTT application. So if if you if you if you haven't got an effective diversification strategy, you're going to be dead. And these are the sort of concepts we ask the students to think about. What is our organisation going to be in three to five years' time? We're relying on voice. We're relying on 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 uh, fixed line services. And even in our industry, in the sub which I'm in, the submarine cable industry, we're not seeing people buy IPLCs anymore. People just don't buy them. Everybody just buys DIA or direct internet access. So the product set's changing and evolving. We're seeing, we're seeing a shift from, in the wholesale space, folks going from, uh, from buying 10 gig circuits to now buying full fiber pairs, right? That, that's really happening right now on the international space. And for the enterprise space, we're seeing people buy DIA. They're not looking to buy 10 meg IPLCs anymore or 100, 100 meg IPLCs. It's all direct internet access. So the fundamental business models are changing. And it's really fun to watch these, these young guys, the girls, all get in a room together, look at their own organization and think, wow, how's that gonna impact on us? What can we do to mitigate against it? What sort of strategies can we deploy to actually um, evolve our business? And then they can take that back to their organisation and, and, and see what they can do. But it sets them up to be leaders of the future. We we're trying to educate these, these, these youngsters to actually uh, think like leaders and get feedback from leaders. And quite often what will happen in these, in these um, academies is you end, up with, you end up mentoring two or three of them and you'll get phone calls once every month you know, I've got this problem at work, how should I address that, for example? So it's, it's actually quite rewarding and, and enriching. So I'd encourage any of you, if you've got, um, if you've got young up and coming execs, the people that you guys have your eye on internally that might be coming next year for the, here for the first time, for example, they're the sort of people we target. And we, we've actually already talked about it, I didn't hit the slide, but an interesting, um, an interesting point to note here is this graph, and, and this graph actually intrigued most of the students when we put it up this year, uh, last year at training, I should say, in Thailand. If we look at revenues, they're going from 48 billion to, to you know, a trillion dollars, and if we look at the connectivity component as a percentage of the total revenue now versus 2025, we're going from 22% to 5% in terms of the total wallet of, of spend. So if you're sitting in a telco right now and you see that graph, it's pretty horrific. So that's what we encourage these, these, these guys to look at and think, well, we need to do something about this. We need to evolve, adapt ch and change. So I, ho I hope that gives you a bit of an insight into, into what we do at the academy and the sort of challenges and, and frustrations we, we try to get them to think about. And this is the next generation of people that will be coming to events like this over the next decade. 
So it, it's good for us to get them to put their thinking caps on now and think about the future. So thank you.